Side characters in Naruto are not that bad. While I still agree with most people that Naruto in the later half of the story mitigated the role of a lot of the side characters, that isn't to say that there weren't any highlights for them in Shippuden. While it is done to a lesser degree when comparing them to characters like Naruto and Sasuke, there are some moments that I want to point out for certain characters by the time Shippuden rolled out. One of my favorite fights has to deal with the side character, that being my guy. His fight against Madara was one of the most hyped up fights in the show and it was for a good reason. We finally got to see Guy go all out by using the full 8 gates and it was amazing to say the least. The fact that his fight against Madara wasn't alluded to at all makes it all the more interesting. Since at this point, it would seem only more supernatural characters like the 6th past versions of Naruto and Sasuke would be the ones to take on Madara. But Guy proved that anyone and everyone had a role to play, giving his all with his power of youth, making him the blue beast of the leaf. He might have failed at defeating Madara, but it was still a damaging blow to him, even Madara recognizing as such. I will say though that while this would have obviously been Guy's peak moment, I personally feel like he should have died at this instance since it would have gave more care for his character. I mean, I Rather that than have him being in a wheelchair, while the other team guy member died being a pencil stick holder. The fight between the Immortal Koski duo and Team 10 is an underrated fight in my opinion. There was great build up beforehand after the death of Asuma, so tensions were high for the team to make a valiant effort in their vengeance for Asuma. And with the help of Kakashi and his team, they were able to make a push against the duo in securing the win. The specific character I want to highlight here, however, is Shikamaru, as his spout with Hidon resulted in one of the best getbacks in fiction history. Shikamaru, with his high IQ, was able to muster up a plan to take out an Immortal Akatsuki and was able to pack him up using the lighter Asuma used during the series. Shikamaru also gave one of the coldest lines I ever heard an anime character spout, giving it more credence to the awesomeness of the scene. Right now, the god you should be worried about isn't your stupid Joshi or anyone else. It's me, because I'm the one who's about to pass judgment. Oh, that's no boy! Ah! Ah! Another side character I want to highlight in the story would be Jiraiya. Now I do give Jiraiya some flack for not properly training Naruto during the 3 year training period, but that doesn't mean that he was a useless character overall. Aside from being one of the prominent father figures to Naruto, he was also a tactician when it came to securing information, and more so his info on the Rain Village. He was able to use the Rain Village intel to discover who the leader was of the Akatsuki, it being his previous student Nagato, and was able to decipher who Pain really was before passing away. Jiraiya was a true Leaf Village ninja and died for his set. I'm pretty sure if Jiraiya really existed, we give him the n-word pass, but then again, he actually took care of Naruto like a father when the time came, so I guess we can't. That said, he is worthy of being called a legendary Sani. Speaking of which, Tsunade is a side character that I feel gets underplayed to a certain extent. I do want to give credit where credit is due. For her tenure at being the 5th Hokage, she played her role well. She's definitely not the strongest, but she does play into her strengths. Like during the Pain Assault where she was healing those around her with Lady Katsuya, and that she was ready to put her life on the line against Pain had it not been for the inclusion of Naruto. Naruto. She was also a G during the war arc, as she was one of the five Kage that went against Madara. Granted, she and her crew got mollywhopped by Madara, but she lasted longer than anticipated given that she used the Mitonic regeneration jutsu. She literally got stabbed through the stomach and was still putting in that work. You gotta give her credit for being resilient if anything else. The final character that I want to give credit for being a useful side character is Itachi Uchiha. Him being a double agent suggests some moral implications to the ninja world, which you can argue with yourselves whether it's a positive or a negative, but you can't argue that his efforts in the war arc were some of the most crucial for the remainder of the series. He was able to break out of being controlled by Kabuto by using Shisui's eye, implementing the Genjutsu Koto Masukami, and it trickled down to ending the war proper. Itachi was then able to find Kabuto, and with the help of Sasuke, was able to take Kabuto down by putting him under Izanami, relinquishing the reanimation jutsu in the process. And had Itachi not put Kabuto under Izanami, Kabuto wouldn't have been reformed and healed Sasuke after almost dying to Madara. Even after death, Itachi was able to make a mark in the ninja world, making him a useful side character. I'm sure that there are some other side characters on Nick to mention, so I'll ask. What side character do you favor in the Naruto story, and how were they useful in your eyes? I'd like to get y'all's opinion, so let me know in the comment section below. And if you want to see me talk more about underrated characters, click the card you see on screen that'll lead you to my video about how female characters in Naruto are not all that bad. Until next time, I'm the Curly Hotokage, and I hope you all have an amazing and blessed day. Peace.